beautiful Liberans. It's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you guys are doing well. I really appreciate you coming to my channel. So if um, you're celebrating Easter this weekend, like here in Oz, this is when I'm doing the readings. Happy Easter to all you guys. So I'm doing the musician's reading. So if you're a cross watcher, welcome to the channel. This is for musicians and artists of all kinds only. And so what we're going to look at is a couple of spirit messages for you for the month of April. We've got the uh, new moon in Aries on the 19th, also with the eclipse in Aries on the same day. The following day, we've got the sun in Taurus, which is about practicalities. And the following day, we've got Mercury going retrograde. But what I'm going to do is just use the three cards, the new moon, the eclipse, and the sun in Taurus. Um, and the related Lenormand cards, I'm going to give you the meanings of them all. And I'm also going to use the planetary aspects of the Lenormand cards to give you more of an idea what's going on. But um, let's see what happens. We'll start with the spiritual messages from spirit. Let's see. Okay. So, success and good fortune are on the way for you here, Libra. Message from Spirit. What's the next message? Thank you, Spirit. Psychic powers are increasing. So, it's telling me that you're very intuitive here, Libra. So, you know, you've got success and good fortune on the way. The sun's going to shine for you, which is also going to increase those psychic powers. I feel that's with uh, the new moon that's coming your way with the eclipse. I feel like it's going to be on the eclipse, around the eclipse. Definitely amplified energies. And we've got the moon in Aries, which is about believing in yourself here, Libra. Having that energy to be courageous and being a go-getter like Aries individual people. You've got the monarch butterfly on here, which is about new opportunities fluttering your way. You've just come through a transition here. If you can see the cocoon and now it's bloomed into this beautiful butterfly. So that's what I'm feeling for you guys. You know, with the new moon in Aries, emotionally you're going to feel very motivated. You're going to be able to express your ideas you know being that <coughs> excuse me individual pioneer that you want to be but very independent as well you may be doing all these things that are independent coming up with the new ideas not doing it within a group setting but i also feel that you know something new is definitely on the horizon for you guys it's also causing a little bit of restlessness around these energies, but this is where you've got to avoid rash decisions. You've got to think things through and make the right choices and um, enjoy your life while, you know, you're waiting for things to happen because I feel like you are ready to take on these new challenges when they come up for you, Libra. Now we've got the house, which is stability, security, family doesn't have to be your chosen family it could be your music friends and you've got the crossing which is struggles that possibly you've been going through having faith you know believing in yourself so you know with this combination here I feel like the significance of the house which is the fourth house is peace of mind you know um, the comforts your luxuries it can relate to your mother um, just feeling um, maybe you want a general education and you've got these learning tendencies that are cropping up, something new. This is your private life, but it's influenced by the significance of the 12th house, which is the cross. You know, you're probably going to look at long-term in investments, you know, expenses that you uh, on yourself creativity your dreams your visions the power to manifest visions into reality 
you know, you're looking at foreign land perhaps, as well as whatever's deceptions are going on. Your your hidden enemies, uh, people that are envious of you in your music. Anything that you've lost, isolations or obstacles, limitations, etc. But Libra, your music is safe and secure. No need to worry because you're on your way to good fortune. And uh, you know, but you've just got to be careful of impacts from home life. It could be struggles in the home or struggles within a group of uh, musicians. Some of you may want to operate from your home. Maybe uh, you get your own work. You could be an agency. You, you know, you could be a manager. That type of energy is coming through for you. Now, the following day, we have the eclipse in Aries also, which is about boosting your relationships, you know, collaborating with people. But it's telling me, you are a spiritual being. We've all come here to experience life in the physical world and uh, we have life lessons that we've got to come here for. Once they're completed, we move forward. So you've just got to make sure that you're led by your best interest at heart. And, uh, you know, uh, collaborating with other people here, which is hard for a lot of people to let go of something if they do it on their own. So it's just about compromising through your teamwork. And um, we have also, uh, you know, connections here. There's some sort of connections. They could be karmic from a past life. It could be um, someone coming back in because there's a lesson here to be learnt from a past life. That could be um, possible and, you know, maybe you're just feeling drawn to somebody in this lifetime and you're feeling whatever experience you've had, the time is right for you or for your business, you know, to take a chance on that, you know, personal collaboration here. And this is you ful fulfilling that um project by expressing your true self and finding about your purpose in life as well so you may want to complete a project that really inspires you it really motivates you so you can express all your talents and all your life experiences in this project and um maybe On the 19th as well with the sun moon and north node and the upcoming eclipse on the 19th this is going to be amplified which is going to bring about definitely significant changes in your life okay so it's also going to be this focus on personal goals and your identity your name of your outfit how you look and you've got satin in the sixth house of of the birth chart which tells you you have a strong worth um, work ethic and also indicates a serious and responsible partner who's coming in now this is the person you're drawn to you know they value honesty and these people are highly disciplined and organized so you know they may get you to overwork which is going to cause a lot of burnout for you now, the Lenormand man, which is a significant person, could be a man coming into your music outfit, and you've got the lily, which is about experience. It could be, um, this is moon and Saturn. So the moon represents our emotional nature. Man is Mars, represents our drive and motivation. This person's going to drive you and motivate you so much so that you may get burnout. So you've got to be careful of that. So when these two energies are in close alignment, it, it does create a powerful emotional bond between two people, especially with the eclipse. And, uh, you know, the, this bond's not always a healthy one, but emotions are so intense 
It sometimes can lead to possessiveness or jealousy. So, you know, the moon conjuncting Saturn here with the lily at, in your natal chart can also point to a deeply emotional and moving journey, even so. So you may struggle, put in the effort, the hard work, and it's often laced with sorrow, but it can also uh, feel like it's extremely difficult for you to move forward in a healthy manner, if this is the case. So you've got to try and put that jealousy aside. Now, we've got the sun, <coughs> sorry, entering Taurus the following day on the 20th. Okay. So, you know, this is about practicalities. Time to get these ideas into practice so you can see some results. You've got to boost that self-worth to bring the finances in and believe in your talents because boosting your self-esteem by having positive mindset, well, then your projects will succeed. It is time for action on the 20th, but you've got to choose your endeavours wisely. Don't make rash decisions. This also depends on the cards surrounding it and uh, maintaining a healthy relationship with spirit by seeing that these, the money on this card is going to be put to good use in your music and not stepping over that platform into um, a power energy. Okay, now we've got the birds, communication, negotiations. We've got the mountain, which can be a remote place, but it can also mean obstacles and delays. So, you know, we've got... Birds, which is Uranus in Capricorn, the mountains Capricorn. And it represents revolution and disruption with a sign that's associated with order, structure, ambition. Now, people with this place may have something unique, an original business concept, very strong leadership qualities and very serious and responsible attitude. So it may also be seen as a hard and pessimistic person. They're very cynical or know-it-alls. Well, they may, uh, there may be a lot of gossip around your music. But I feel like you're going to definitely heavily rely on social media with this. You know, this good fortune that is on its way to you. You know, you've got competitors that are gossiping about malice intent. And this gossip probably causes problems and talking about your issues here. So remember the following day we've got Mercury going in retrograde. Please do not communicate with anyone on that day or uh, with um, Mercury retrograde season because any contracts that need to be signed, you've got to read between the dotted lines and make sure that you cross all your T's and dot all your I's and Things that need to be really uh, communicated perfectly is not going to happen around that time. So um, that's all I pretty much have for you guys um, for the month of April. But, you know, listen to your intuition here, Libra, because it's going to lead you to success and good fortune. But don't over abuse the power of money is all I can say. So love to you all. Bye for now.